Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Herm Ooh, of Hermitcraft from the Hermitcraft server. This this dungeon, this game is getting creepier and creepier by the second. A still Joe Hills, just standing here, looking gorgeous. Can I can I move him? I could definitely move him. This looks like a good spot for him. Right here, Joe. Perfect. You're tucked away, safe from all the baddies in here. The AFK throne, thy sitter hath dibs on the next compass ticker. And the ticker is about to reach the number six lamp thing. I'm about to get a free key. Also, there have been some major changes to Decked Out. Change number one. All existing compasses that you hold are no longer valid. Entering the dungeon with a key will now automatically grant you a free compass every run. It'll be on the floor in the Wither Skeleton room, so all you gotta do is pick it up and go in. When you drop your compass in the dungeon, you will no longer receive a shulker box. Instead, you'll receive a loot token. You take the loot token to the new loot token exchange outside the iron doors to receive your shulker full of loot. There. Right there is where you trade in your token for your loot. I can't wait. While we wait for that final lamp to light up, I should probably let you know that I did do another run um, in between this episode and the, and the previous episode. It was, it was uh, exciting. but ultimately ended in failure. So I'm hoping this time I'll have a little bit more luck. Um, I've, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I will. Oh, the card, I'll show you the card that I got. We got a resistance one card. So now we have beast sense one, stealth one, loot finder one, and resistance one. There is a resistance two here for sale for 14 coins. We have 16 coins, but I think what I'll do, we don't have enough keys to buy or any uh, coins to buy another key. I don't know, should I get resistance too? 14 coins, or should we, I think I'm gonna save the coins. There's also an, a teleportation orb. Wait, we have 18? Oh, 16. If we had 18, I think I'd buy one of these and buy one of these. But um, for now, we're gonna hold on to what we got, and hopefully this thing changes, or this final lamp lights up really soon, because I'm, I'm excited to get going here. Yes, finally, I've been waiting here for so long. Okay, so wait, you push the button. I got the key, decked out dungeon key. Here we go. Finally, it's about time. I've been, I've been dying to play this game again. Let's get all my stuff in my inventory. There's the compass. Beautiful. Let's get all this stuff out of my inventory. And then we're going to play and we're going to win. We're going to we play to win the game. One final bit of food before we go in. Okay, so uh, where's the thing? I have to put it here, right there. We have four cards in there. Okay, when you have completed... Oh, right here. There we go. So now it's reading my cards. I've got my compass. <sighs> Here I go. We're gonna be confident this time. We're not gonna worry about any clanks. Don't like that sound. Oh, come on. I don't wanna do this again. We're going a different way. I don't wanna go that way. I refuse. Oh, look, we just ignored it, or we just avoided a clank there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be, you can't get through here, right? Yes, you can. Oh! Go, 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 go. I outsmarted him. Everything's fine. Whoa, that guy. Really wasn't supposed to be there, I think. He probably was. Okay. We're still good. I feel like we're... Oh, you got... What? 
No, 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 no. Okay, back out we go. Let's go this way now. Why are there so many beasts this time? I haven't even had a chance. Oh, good, we avoided a clank there. I haven't even had a chance. Oh, there's my first one, I think. Oh, there's a second one, I think. There's some beasts. I don't see them very close to me, which is a good sign. Let's go this way. Maybe it's up top here. Let's go right through these webs. It's okay. We should have ducked. Should have ducked. Come on. I heard that. I'm not sure what it was, but I heard it. Oh, there's a skeleton up there. Okay. Oh, loot. That's good stuff. Let's go back this way. Um. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Go, 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 go. Where is the thing? Is it in here? Oh, it's right here. We did it. Loot box token. We gotta get out of here now. Now, what are the chances? We can actually leave. I think it was up this way. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. This is not the way. Oh, more of that. That's not good. Oh, we're in, in the dungeon. Or in the prison cells. I don't know which way to go. I think it was this way. Uh... <gasps> more coins. Oh my gosh. Look at all these. I'm going to end up dying because of this. Looking for loots. Oh my gosh. Nope, not the library. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now, if I remember correctly, there was a beast nearby. Go, 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 go! I did it. I did it! Oh, what the? Okay, you can't get out, right? That's scaring me. I finished my run, and I got eight coins out of it. That's awesome. Okay, let's get all this stuff back in my inventory, especially if that beast comes after me. I don't want to die. Oh, and I didn't, even, I didn't even set my spawn. I'll set it now, just in case. <laughs> I have a bad habit of not setting my spawn when I enter this game. Okay, uh, we are done. Okay, so now we have the loot box token. Now, if I remember correctly, we have to go... I can't believe I have... 24 decked out coins. That is pretty good. So we have to go here. Loot box token trading. Put your loot box token. Loot box will pop up from floor. We got it. Ooh, hold on. This looks like a good. This looks like a good haul here. We got four, five more coins. 29 coins now. Another set. Another nether set. An ocean set and an end set. Huh. Hold on here. I think I got another set in here too, don't I? Dragon, witch, poison, ocean. Okay. So now we have two ocean and two nether set or yeah, uh, items, not sets. So there's another nether or oh, sorry, there's an another set. Where's the other ocean set? Right here. And we'll put the other Do we have an end set here? That is a dragon, witch, poison. So we'll put the end one right here. And then Ocean set, nether set there. And I almost forgot to take my card. Stealth 1, Loot Finder 1, and Loot Finder 1. I'm going to do another stealth card. So now we have two stealth cards. Hey, Wells. Hey, Beef. And hi, people. Hi, people. <laughs> I looked up like they're actually watching me from the sky. Um, are they, though? They might be. I mean, where are they watching me from? It's probably the sky. Probably this guy. I concur. Sky People. <laughs> oh, that's a good book, by the way. I forgot what the full title is, but that's a wonderful book. Something, something, Sky People. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm sure people are going to look up something, something, <laughs> Sky People now. Uh, Wells and I have come together because we're designing the Blue Road. So let's take a look at our competition first. Um, this road here. What do you think, Wells? 
It's very black and brown. It's very black and brown. Yep. Uh, has a has a woody aftertaste. It does. I bet these little guys light up at night though, so that's kind of a nice touch. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm, full bodied. <laughs> I feel like if you tasted this road, it would taste like cigarette butts and sadness. Wow. That's <laughs> sorry. Sorry. That's a huge. Cr Listen, I really want to win these diamonds. Cruel. Wells, I really want to win that's, these diamonds. Wow. You just <laughs> pulling no punches there, beef. Just, <laughs> um, your road looks like an ashtray tastes. <laughs> like, wow. Uh, savage, my friend. Just let's, savage. Let's move on. I don't want to dwell on that. <laughs> this next road over here looks pretty good. I kind of like this road. I really do. Um, it's. It's. Uh, it's a little, it's a little bland, maybe. It's a little barren landscape sort of thing, but I like the way they designed, like, the stuff around the road. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's, it, like, this glass part is, it, the whole thing is the road. It's not right. just, like, this little right. bit. Yeah. Like, all of it is basically what they did. I so. like it. I like it. But I mean, there's does. Is it inviting? Does it say come walk on my road and buy my things? Mm, nah, does it? Say, I, I think does it even say I, road? Because technically, no, I'm, it, I feel like I'm walking this whole thing's the road like you were saying. I mean, it, it feels very moon to me. Yes, that. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's like. 2020 has been so bad that I just want to escape and I live on the moon now. <laughs> Apparently that's what that place is. There's another red-ish road over here somewhere. Where is that at? I think it's like over... Oh, right here. here. Yeah. So this road here screams do not walk on me unless you want to get murdered. That is kind of cool though. I mean, you're the one with bloody clothes, so you can <laughs> walk on the road, and I will avoid you. Hey, look, it's Cub. Careful, he's aiming his... He's, oh, he's jealous. He's jealous of our design. He probably saw it. You guys will see it soon. Um, yeah, this is kind of cool. I like how it lights. Does it light, light up as you walk along? It seems that way. That's a fancy... Re yeah, it does. That's, That's a fancy redstone cool. touch. That's pretty cool. The road itself, though, I mean... Are we judging roads or are we judging special effects? That's a good question. Because the road itself can you look as you little work. Can you little work. It's very red. It's very red. And then we have one more road over this way, I believe. Yes, this one here it runs all along the side here. I really like those mushrooms now that I uh noticed them. Did you guys did you see that those mushrooms there? Uh yeah. They like I like them. They look really good. I do too. They do um, look good. I would totally hide uh, decked out boxes in them if I was Tango. Oh, good idea. I'm just saying. This but road, I lost you. Oh, there you are. I found yeah, you. Hi. This this road is very 1.16. Yes. You know, they took advantage of the area, new blocks. This whole area is very 1.16. <laughs> Cubs Hello, following Cub. us around. <laughs> Cubs like, I'm watching you. Um, Not a bad road, but again, you know, it doesn't... It doesn't scream inviting to me. It doesn't. You don't want to walk on this road. I feel like if you walk on this road, the soles of your shoes would be black and and burnt in no time. Well, I mean, if, if we're being objective, yeah, this whole road is blackstone. Yes, the whole road is blackstone. Different colors of, of or different patterns of blackstone, but definitely all blackstone. You know, with a little basalt. Along the sides occasionally yes. for some like pillory yeah. bits. Well, for spice, a little basalt for spice. Yeah. Right? You yeah. I do like the use of the chains here as yeah. like a that is really like cool. a guard rail sort I, of thing. I have discovered a flaw. They don't guard anything. They they do if you're not bad. <laughs> what are you talking about? You can walk right over them. No no. You Listen. get a, you yeah, you get a full extra block of wiggle room to not fall. That's true, but let's so say like if you're not bad at <laughs> Minecraft, that should be a, a significant buffer. Listen, picture this: you're out uh, a night a night out on the town here at the shopping district. You're over there in that tavern drinking some brewskis. Okay, you're walking okay. along. 
uh, on that section specifically because my theory doesn't work with this section because this section actually works properly. But that section specific, you're walking along, you walk a little bit over to your, re your, your right, depending on where you're going from, and you fall into the water. I mean, you can't fault the person who's walking for that. You fault but the designer. You, but if you've been, well, yeah, I suppose that could be bad. <laughs> <laughs> it, you're right. It's a safety hazard. We should file a complaint. Safety hazard. Okay. And then we haven't built our road yet, by the way. Maybe people are expecting us to show the full road, but we've come up with a genius design, which I think is the nicest road it's ever, ever made. Brilliant. Look at this, guys. Look at this road. This road screams walk in me, on me. In me? Probably in me because we've got the, the trellises. Uh, I'd, I'd say on me. On me. Yes. In me is probably weird. Um, Utilize me. Utilize Travel upon me. Travel upon my wonderful blockiness. Look at this. We've got different colored um, or different uh, textured blocks here for a little variety. We got this beautiful, beautiful redstone lamp lit up. Add just a nice warm glow to the path. These beautiful trellises. Some will have leaves. Some will not. It'll be kind of like it won't be. It won't be repetitive like all these other roads that I just witnessed. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. It'll be the, the less repetitive. Ran random, a little bit random, a little bit randomized. Some some will have yeah. these, some won't. Some will have leaves, some won't. Um, I mean, look at it. Variation. Variation is the word that we're probably looking that's for. The, that's the one. <laughs> I remember now. I can English. <laughs> yes. English, our English is fantastic. Um, I have vocabulary big. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it look so good though? Like, come on, come on! You just—I I, I really like it. Actually, I really it like turned it out too. very well. Now all we have to do is build all of it. Yeah, it's a great proof of concept. Right. Um, we got our corner bits kind of figured out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. we're gonna have some challenges. Uh, just yes. given where these roads are supposed to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, because like we got a couple of weird diagonals and stuff that we're supposed yeah. to do stuff with, but I'm confident that between that we can figure it out. Well, we should did, be okay. Did you come over here and check out the front of Wells Mart? Look at look at where I'm facing. Like right who who decided the road was gonna wrap around that mushroom block over there or that mushroom over there? That's ridiculous. I, I'm telling you right now. The the road is not gonna wrap around that mushroom block right there. <laughs> I think the that's the the road the is gonna come from approximately here. Yeah, across like so to uh -huh. Wells Mart. Perfect. And then it's gonna make a ninety degree turn and go that way. I think that's probably for the best. That, that this is what's gonna happen. Where does that road even connect? This blue road goes all the way. Oh, and then it goes up all under over to here. Interesting. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll we're going to have a couple like spots where it gets a little weird, but yeah. we'll uh I I'm confident in your abilities, beef. <laughs> I'm confident in yours as well. Look at that beautiful I I just want to walk on it. That's all. It's very nice. It is. This would be like a perfect date road. Oh, yes. You know, you you get with someone you're close with. Uh-huh. And you just go on a nice leisurely walk. You got the nature and the birds are chirping and the sun yes. is shining. Oh, my gosh. I can you picture know? all those things happening on this road and none of those things happening on any of the other roads we just witnessed today. Therefore, our road is the best. It's science. We win. I think it's, it's ob over. objective science. <laughs> Completely unbiased. Absolutely. Before we move forward in the video, I'd like to make a quick announcement. I have started a new Skyblock series um, on the Chaos Craft server. I just wanted to tell you guys, because I haven't played Skyblock in a while, I really enjoy playing, especially on these public servers, because I get to see your creations, and I get to kind of compete with you, not really, because I always lose in the competitions. But they are fun to play, and they are free to play, and they are definitely free to watch. So if you want to watch the series, please give the Skyblock series a go, episode 1 just went out yesterday so you are not far behind easy to catch up on i'm going for a, a paradise themed skyblock world a couple other hermits have already played on the server as well so i'm kind of excited um to kind of be in that in their company uh, but yeah please check it out and um hope you enjoy it i can see my wallpaper being put to good use already hello i am bumbo jumboni Look at him, he's beautiful. Also over here, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not. Oh, I've been working on the I've been working on the path, by the way, and it's looking in 
incredible. Look at this little entrance into our road. Oh, man, of course, Doc's uh, failure to um, supply his pass is a problem. Ooh, the all-seeing eye has an eye on him. Get it? There's an eye on his shop kind of floating above it. Anyway, yeah, look at the path. It's looking good. Uh, but this is what I wanted to show you. This is what I wanted to show you right here. What is this about? Mumbo Jumboni and Mumbo Stashoni. Available now. Contact Eskal. What? Eskal desecrating my beautiful artwork with mustaches? I never would have guessed that would happen. Another look at our beautiful road there. This one leads up from the town hall. Look at it, guys. Look at Don't you want to just like... This is inviting. This is like, hey, come and shop in me. Um, I did it all the way around here, past the llama shop, past the wallpaper shop. I even have one going downwards here. Huh? Huh? Little hanging plants here and there. Some ferns. Um, I have this one going over this way. I think I got to the corner there and then I ran out of blocks. I got it going all the way down this way. Look at this beautiful little stretch right here with uh, the trellis, I think is what it's called, above the walkway leading to various shops. Now, all of a sudden, this becomes prime real estate, huh? Anyway, this is the reason I'm at the shopping district right now. These wonderful uh, shulkers and chests behind me. There is a an auction happening. Um, and I am going to bid on a lot of these. Why? Because a lot of these contain materials that I will need. For instance... Ooh. Ooh, that sand is nice. That sand is nice. Uh, ooh, sandstone, always good, especially... More sand. What is that? Light gray wool. I like light gray wool. A lot of wood, which is good, because I'm running low. More sand, more sandstone. That's an empty shulker. Plus, you... Oh! A bunch of terracotta. That's going to be good for my three fox hole project. More sand, more sandstone. Okay, I want to bid on this. Who's the highest bidder? Etho, 53 diamonds. Not anymore, my friend. Not anymore. Um, beef? 54 diamonds. There's no need to have this massive jump from here to here. Etho doesn't know. This, he doesn't know how this works. Poor Etho. Anyway, there it is. Beef, 54 diamonds. What else we got? This one's got a bunch of random stuff. Ooh, I like the brown dye, though. Like the brown dye. Is the brown dye worth seven diamonds? Absolutely, it's worth seven diamonds. Beep. Seven diamonds. Etho is not going to be happy with me. This one is completely blank. And Cub has bit a diamond on it. Cool. Cool. Wait, does it say what it is here? Box is found behind the mayoral hall. Okay, so I guess there was none. Um, What's this? Oh, come on. The cyan terracotta. That's going to be perfect for three fox hole. Etho, 15 diamonds? Not anymore. Beef, 16 diamonds. He's going to be so upset with me. Ah, this one I'm going to pass on. And Etho's bidding three diamonds on it. What's in it? Mushroom blocks. They're kind of fun. Some wood. Yeah, I'm not really interested in that one. What's in this one? Hmm, not interested. What's in this one? Not interested. I bid on that one. Let's go to this side. The original bamboo. The original 12 bamboo. Etho's bid 13. B-dubs, 201 dot. You can have it. You can have it, B-dubs. What's in this one? Ooh, that's a lot of Vindicator heads. How much? Oh, I'll bid more. I'll bid more than that. I mean, I like it. I like Vindicate. They're the right color for my island, too. Maybe I can use, like, uh, for Three Fox Hole. I mean, maybe I can use Vindicator heads in some form of decorative way. Beef. You know what? This one, I'm going to go a little higher, even. Eight. Dot, no. That's that's just dumb. I'm pulling an Etho. I bid 22 diamonds on this one as well because this one has a lot of bricks and a lot of leaves, which um, I need leaves. And oh, there's also three beautiful Corallus heads. This one right here, though, is the mother load. Look at how many supplies you will end up with absolutely free. Look at all these sea lanterns. Look at all these nether bricks that I will use for three fox hole. The cyan terracotta, the gray concrete powder that I need for three fox hole. Like, this is the spot right here. How much is this? 44 diamonds. Is that the highest one? No, I think there's like... This one was like 63 or something, wasn't it? 54. Okay. Or 53 was his previous bid. All right. Um, we're going to go with um, one more diamond because that's what we do. 45 diamonds. And hopefully, Etho doesn't notice that we have outbid him on many of these things. You know what we haven't done yet today, guys? We haven't checked out any of the profits at... Beefy Stores! Everything is better at beefs. Okay, okay, there's five diamonds there. None here, huh? The blue, pink, and the green, never huge sellers. We got nothing there either. Nothing there. Nothing there. Ooh, 
I will take that. We have made 14 more diamonds. Um, music store? Should I even bother checking? Probably not. But what about the wallpaper store? I bet we've sold some more jumbo mumbos. Oh, we are sold out of jumbo mumbles. Wow, that is nice. Here, let's get some floor models in there uh, before I can before I have to duplicate some more. Let's get a few more in there. Make sure people know these are technically available. We're not going to discount the floor models at all. Have we sold any others? No. Hey, hey, we sold it all black. Hmm. No Eternal Sunshine sales. That's unfortunate. I got to lower these prices because there are some competing stores in town that um, definitely blow these two prices out of the water. So we've got to work on that. But hey, that is not a bad haul. 16 diamond blocks and 14 diamonds, which will give us a grand total of 57. Thir wow, we're almost at four full stacks. Wait, we might be at four full stacks of diamonds here. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't do my math very well, did I? I did not. 61. Okay, we're, I mean, I guess I can consider that almost. We're three, three diamond blocks short. That's pretty good. Guys, I've been summoned to play a game of Shishwami Void. Zuzuma, Exuma Void's X's. X's game. He's invited me to play test it. And um, I'm excited to play. Basically, it's like um, it's like a challenge. There are two teams, one on either side of a uh, an obstacle course, I guess. It's kind of like an obstacle course slash maze thing. And, um... Each team has to uh, hit the targets quicker than the other team. And if you hit the target on your side, uh, the target on the other team's side is locked. So they can't hit it. So basically, it's the first team to hit more than half the targets wins. Me and Tango are going to take on Cub and Hypno. Wish us luck. Well, thank you, my fellow hermits, for turning up and giving a test run to the game known as L13. Lucky 13. Are uh, you guys oh. excited? Absolutely. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's Why the enthusiasm I like to see. <laughs> so I, I guess good luck. <laughs> Thanks. <Let's go>. Um, <laughs> All right, yeah. Tango, let's do this. I should comment on the state of the game. I mean, the arena has not been made to look pretty from the outside. So everything here is subject to change in the future. Um, but it's going to be cool to see how you guys enjoy it. It's so, a play test. Yeah, it's interesting. It's we're, a play we're test. We're literal yeah. guinea pigs inside of yeah. a maze. <laughs> yeah. In the maze, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Awesome. So if you guys get into like starting positions on these All little right, carpets here, here you this. you've both got your crossbows, your regular bows, and your food and arrows, right? That's mm -hmm. all you're allowed to take in with you. Yep. Can I say thank you for putting in the spectral arrows? They are amazing, aren't they? They are. They are pretty cool. good. Cool. I'm gonna split you guys into your teams then and okay. wish you the best of luck. Oh, looks like we've been split. Excellent. Oh oh wow, it's it's going. Uh, three, two, one. All right. What's go. our strategy okay. going to be? Um, do, do we have a strategy? Uh, I guess. Here, I'm going to go through the water run here and see if I can't water hit. Run. Okay. okay. I'll do. Oh, there's the honey jumper. That terrifies me. I'm going. Let's see. I'm going to go into the magma area. Was that enough? Yeah, I got one. Where's the other one? Right here. Boom. I got two. Well, you're amazing at this. Oh, I, I'm a professional. Is there is there something back here? There is. Okay. Uh, I ooh. can't tell if I'm even close or not. I don't even know where this goes. Oh, that goes all the way around. That was a stupid move on my part. All right, uh, I'm going in. The did you do the honey jumper by any chance? I saw that and I was afraid and I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am also afraid. Apparently, I didn't know you could do this. Got but you one. Could, okay. <gasps> Come on. You could jump from the edge of honey blocks. Got another one. Oh, you're killing it. Come on. Are, they, are you doing the honey thing? Yeah, I'm trying the honey thing. Oh, that is so hard. Okay, I'm going way up to the top here. I don't even know what's up here. Oh, Targets. this is the honey drop one, I think. Okay. Good target. <laughs> this is the honey drop. Oh, this is going to be impossible. Oh, this is this is frustrating. This honey thing is not fun. Okay, can I go here and then... Nope. Uh, you get two shots at the honey drop. Oh, it's really? Impossible. Uh, yeah. I can't get up this final block. Or final couple blocks. Uh, no, come on. Oh, this is brutal. I think I might I might quit on the honey dropper or the honey uh, parkour. It's rough. I'll, I'll give it a go in a second. All right, I got one more. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, I got a block. Okay. Oh, jump shot. Jump shot. They probably already got I got up to the top. Yep, they already got jump shot. Okay. You got up to the top? Fantastic. Yeah, I got another target. Can I hit another one? Oh, I can hit another one from here. I got another target. I'm lost. 
dropping down. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go up the stairs now. I, 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 I don't know what's left except for the honey jumper thing. Really? There's two targets there? Oh, wait. There's this water run. Did we do all that? Uh, the water? Oh, I did the water run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the web shot. Oh, wait, how do you get to the honey? I'm, I'm, I'm lost in this maze of confusion. <laughs> oh, the downstairs. The slow crawl. The slow crawl? Yeah, there's one downstairs. I don't know if I can... Oh, this is going to be impossible. Going I don't even know. Is, is there is there even a target to hit here? There's got to be. Oh, there's one right there. It's been it's been targeted though. Um, I'm a little bit. No. Oh, this is the one worst. point one left. Point left. <laughs> it's tied. Come on. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't get up the. Should I even be going up the honey blocks? Where? No, no, no. I already got up there. Okay, okay, okay. Where's the honey I don't the drop? Is it over oh, here? Oh, there's a honey drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go straight up the ladder. Okay, straight up, up the ladder. ladder. Go, 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 go. It's super hard. There's, you basically get two shots. So we'll just keep looping this until one of us hits it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to face this way? All right. Yep. Where? Oh, you got to oh. slide the honey. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was wondering why that did so much damage. It makes it a little bit more difficult that way. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, now you got to go there. back around the lava thing? Is that how you get back you up? You have to like me. walk through the ice? I think so, yeah. Oh, this is brutal. Okay. Okay, there's one left and it's way up high. As you're doing the honey drop, look up. Okay. It's basically an impossible shot. We might be here for 20 minutes. <laughs> and that's the only one left. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right, show me how it's done. You okay, got you right. got to jump on the thing. Okay. And way up there. Where is it? Oh. It's way up there. Oh, it I is up I there. I think I got it. I totally missed. It is such a hard okay, shot Okay, okay. That's sliding. not bad. That's not bad. We can do this. We got... Okay. That's confidence. I like we that. We can definitely do this. I don't even know how close I am. I think I missed by about, like, 50 feet. <laughs> 50 feet is a long... Yeah, well, that's a long miss. <laughs> got to eat some food on the way up the ladder. That's a good strat. That's optimal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Doing this again. Honey drop. Is that... What I guess both teams are going for right now. Oh, we're we're way too high. Yeah, I may have hit. No, I hit the target, but not the center. Oh, <laughs> oh wait. All wrong, of my shots are way side. too high. I think because there's a lot of arrows stuck like ten feet <laughs> off the target. <laughs> it's okay. They're having the same problems as we yep, are. Yep, they're having the exact same conversation right now. I guarantee it. All right, doing it again. Ah. <sighs> Two shots, and you gotta go on this whole loop. Oh, that was way too high. Did I get That's it? That's the hardest part, is like you don't know. It's hard to zero in, because I can't see the results of each shot. So yeah. every time I go, it's just a fresh guess. Okay, all right. I'm trying <laughs> this again. This is fine. I'm sure X is just laughing it up right now. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Oh, that was close. Okay, trying it again. This time, I'm not gonna go so high. This loop around is crazy. Oh, come on. You're only getting two shots per drop, yeah, right? Yeah, only two shots per drop. Yeah, okay. Ow. And that first shot is... Oh, that was horrible. They must be doing... I mean... Ah. They're doing equally <laughs> as bad. It's fine. Once again... Oh, so, oh who GG! got it? Th did who you got get it? it? No, I didn't. Let's I don't say think. you did. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang. That was amazing. Did you whatever, that was such a hard shot. That oh. was tough, that final the shot. The honey drop. Oh, the honey awful. drop was nuts. <laughs> I hit the target once or twice, but it wasn't close I enough. Don't think oh, I even man. hit the Blackstone. <laughs> I think oh, I think what I'm gonna do is make that shot easier and a lot of the other ones hard because yes. I got to see how that played out through the camera count. Mm -hmm. And Cub, Cub and Hypno, you guys like soared in front and picked off a lot of shots down the bottom really quick. Mm -hmm. And then I think Tango and Beef, you came back because one of you did the honey drop. Uh, sorry, the honey. Uh, the the yes, parkour. That was the honey me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beef yeah. did that. Yeah, thankfully. and then well that paid off and kind of brought you back into it and it literally was just the one thing at the end left and then it, it felt like um you and tango be f figured that out first and then like two or three minutes later cub and hypno figured out that was like the yeah. last one left the well. um the water one was really really easy as well gotta say 
I hit both of those targets yeah. immediately. <laughs> What nice. what was easy about it? Uh, like you, it, it, there wasn't much um, difficulty. Really, right? you, you just, shot it. And that was it. Yeah, yeah you just like aim okay. your bow and shoot, and uh, it was really close. I think. I think I'm gonna make those ones like very accurate to hit the target. Yeah, yeah. and then loosen up the accuracy on some of the other shots, perhaps. Like the honey block, draw the hun- yes. honey yes. block one. That That's got to be a lot closer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a great concept, though, man. I gotta say. Yeah, that was, really was a, lot a lot of fun. fun. Definitely. I'm, I'm glad you guys fun. liked it. I feel like I can make what's here better with a couple of tweaks, mm-hmm. and you know, yeah, and then make something even better in the future. But yeah, awesome. Thank you it's for exciting. playing. Well done. Thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks. And that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry about the long delay in between episodes. Oh come on! I'm doing an outro, Etho. I hope he doesn't look at those books and see that I've outbid him on everything. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, Click the like button if you enjoyed the video and click the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video. This trellis design thing is looking fantastic behind me. Um, And and, uh, you guys are all beautiful, I guess. So, thanks. Bye.